Apostle of Red Horn Society. Today I want to take a quick opportunity to talk to you about good fitting duck wear for us ladies. Let's face it, ladies, we're built a little bit different than the guys are, and not every piece of equipment is built the same. When I met my husband a couple years ago, I had never duck hunted, so this was a brand new adventure to me. But the first time he took me duck hunting, I was hooked. It didn't take long before we left, got my duck stamp, and I was on the search for waders. We did have to go to about three places, and I had to try on a significant different types of waders, because not every set of waders fits in the right place. And as you can see, I'm a curvy lady, and that oftentimes can complicate things. I ended up buying a set of waders uh, for about $250, and they were pretty important for a couple of reasons, and I'm gonna show you why. As I talked about being curvy, and I talked about being curvy on the top, it's important that you're comfortable, because as soon as you get uncomfortable out there, you're gonna lose interest in the hunt and you want to stay out to get that full limit or until it's time to come in. Got these waders. Uh, my husband helps me keep them stored nice. It's important that you get something. This is the one place that you're going to want to spend an extra amount of money. When you're spending that extra amount of money to keep yourself warm. He educated me that you want to stay about a thousand thinsulate in your feet so that your feet will stay dry, not sweat, and then get cold. Once you get cold, your hunt's gonna be over. We picked these ones up, and they were perfect for a couple of reasons. After I tried them on, I'm gonna show you why. It's important that you store your waders in a way to maximize the amount of time that you're gonna get out of them. I should be able to get 10 or 12 years as long as I take care of my waders. One of the things us ladies deal with is a little bit of curve here in our hips. These waders were perfect because they fit comfortably, but in all the places, us ladies need to fit. The other important part about these particular types of waders is they come up a little bit higher. May not seem important, but when you're out there and you're having a lot of pressure across your chest, or you have your shotgun, or you're trying to shoot, you're going to be more comfortable in this particular area. This brand provides a little bit more in length in the bib, and it provides a little bit more stretch well, let's face it, ladies, we actually need it. The other important thing that you need to think about is warmth. But you don't have to spend a lot of money when you want to be warm. I, in the earlier part of our season, tend to like to hunt in a lightweight sweatshirt. Camouflage, picked one up at Black Friday a couple years ago, 10 bucks, no problem. But here in the Pacific Northwest where we hunt, it tends to get cold pretty fast. We also have a significant amount of rain important that you stay dry as well as warm. My husband picked this coat up for me as a Christmas present. It was around $90. It's insulated, it's thick, it's got a nice hood, but also what's important ladies is it's built to accommodate us in the places where we need to be accommodated. There's more room in this area up here in the chest and it fits a little bit easier down through our waist. I find that I have no problem tucking this coat all day long into my bibs. Let's talk a little bit about what you might wanna wear underneath of it. Doesn't have to be expensive. I tend to go with my favorite pair of leggings. They're warm, they're easy to put on and off, and you can stay comfortable throughout the entire hunt. If you wanna wear a pair of jeans, not a problem. I would suggest that you get a couple of leg pegs. This will help keep you comfortable inside of your boots. Last thing I want to talk to you about is our hair. I like my hair. I have a lot of it, but I don't want my hair everywhere. So I tend to wear in our warmer times a baseball cap, nice and easy. You can pick these up, five, ten dollars, throw your hair up and you'll have no problem. Again, up here in the Pacific Northwest, it does tend to get a little bit cooler. I'll just wear a cheap beanie of some sort that I can pull my hair up in, get over my ears, and be ready for the entire hunt. So as you can see, the most important part is not only comfort, but staying warm. This is the one area when you're going to start looking at hunting, you're going to want to spend a little bit of extra money. It'll be worth it in the end. Jocelyn out for Redhorn Society.